Hi everyone, I'm Luke. Welcome to another video by Wondershare FamiSafe, the most reliable app to make everything safer for kids in a digital world. Now, as parents, we can't help ourselves. We're gonna worry about our teens, especially when they're driving a car for the first time. And many parents might also be wondering about the best safe driving tips for teenage drivers and how to take some extra steps to keep them safe during the driving. In today's video, we'll walk you through all of this useful content including the facts about teen drivers that parents need to know. We're going to provide safe driving tips for teens that they should know before sitting behind the wheel, and the best methods that can remotely keep your teen safe. But before getting started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Wondershare Family Safe, so that way you won't miss out on any future updates. And do let us know in the comments how you guide your teens on safe driving practices. So now, coming back to the video, teen driving statistics may not seem too bright when they're observed in general. The number of vehicle crashes involving teens is still relatively high. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, crashes are the leading cause of death among people aged 15 to 20. All teen driving statistics agree that the leading cause of teenage car crashes is distracted driving. The second most frequent cause of collision among teens is speeding or going too fast for particular road conditions. The third is lack of scanning the road and the surroundings. Based on a survey of 16-year-olds, teenage driving accident statistics show that teens are most likely to have a crash during the first year of driving. Besides that, teen drivers are 10 times more likely to have a vehicle crash in the first year of driving than any other age groups proving that experience on the road truly matters. According to the stats on teenage driving from 2018, male teens are more likely to cause a crash due to speeding, while 18% of female drivers caused an accident for the same reason. Young driver statistics revealed that teenagers who text while driving are more likely to engage in other risky behaviors and 32.8% of high school students admit texting or emailing while driving. Furthermore, 71% of high school seniors use their phones while driving. This is one of the most disturbing teen driver facts, especially if talking while driving lowers the young driver's reaction as if they were 70 years old. That said, there are several safety tips that parents should give their teen drivers. No texting while driving. Texting drivers are 23 times more likely to crash, and newly licensed teen drivers were three times as likely to look away from the roadway when using an electronic device. The NHTSA found that male drivers between the ages of 15 and 20 were the most likely to be speeding at the time of fatal crashes. This age group was the second highest among female drivers for speed-related fatal crashes. Limit nighttime driving. 40% of motor vehicle crash deaths among teen drivers and passengers aged 13 to 19 occurred between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. in 2019. And wearing a seatbelt can reduce the risk of crash injuries by about 50%. But how can you make the world safer for your kids? We have to admit that mobile phones cause distracted driving accidents. So teenage driving monitoring apps can help you monitor your teen driving. Phone distractions on the road pose a greater danger to yourself and others around you than a drunk driver. Software developers have created applications for these devices that promote driver monitoring apps and even stop drivers from using their phones while driving. And for that, you have Wondershare FamiSafe. FamiSafe is the most reliable parental control app that helps you keep track of your teen's activities. It contains various unique features that make this possible and thus reduce anxiety on whether your teen is doing the right thing. Feature one, smart schedule to set up a restriction for your teen's phone to restrict their use of mobile phones while driving. This feature is arrived at via monitoring the screen time. It helps you record the time spent by kids on the phone per day, week, or month. 
This feature lets you plan daily, remotely, or weekly application usage around specific driving time, bedtime, school time, and other areas. Tap Features on the navigation bar, then tap Screen Time. Tap Set Smart Schedule to add a schedule. You can enter or choose a name for the schedule. Turn on the toggle next to Set a Location to apply the schedule if you want to trigger the schedule by location. Search for the place you would like to add a geofence. Turn on the toggle next to Set a Time Period to apply a schedule for a particular time. Choose the start time and end time. You can choose to use the same schedule every day or customize the schedule for different periods of different dates. Tap screen time limit to add restrictions for kids' iOS devices. With FamiSafe, there are several other features that you can use to restrict your teens from using their phones while driving. Feature two, it's called Drive Report. Drive Report ensures safe driving in teens, and you can get a detailed view of your kids' driving details Check the highest speed, number of overspeeding, hard braking, and more for each single driving record. Besides that, it also maintains cumulative driving distance, total driving time per day, and counts the number of emergency brakes activated during travel. How to use. Step one, tap features, then driving report. Step two, tap enable to know your kids' driving behaviors. Step three, you can also enable the driving report by tapping the setting icon on the top right corner. Step four, set the speed limit so that FamiSafe will record the number of speeding events. Step five, tap the driving details to view the driving information. Step six, tap weekly summary to view the weekly report. You can tap the back or forth to view the report of past weeks. All these weekly reports can help you analyze how your teens are using their phones while driving. Learning to drive is a never-ending process. Different driving conditions may necessitate different driving techniques, and we're constantly learning new things. As a result, it is critical for parents to equip their teenagers with suitable driving instruction. Thus, the earlier mentioned points can help you out, and FamiSafe is here to help you with this issue. Well, that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel, Wondershare FamiSafe. Let us know in the comments how to keep teens safe while driving. Take care and see you soon.